So Shelburne Museum is a museum that is really unlike any other. Uh, we're located on 45 acres um, of rolling green fields. We have 39 buildings and structures that range from a steamboat called the Ticonderoga to a lighthouse that used to be on the Colchester Reef um, to schoolhouses and meeting houses that have been pulled from all over New England. Um, these buildings were all set up to house museum founder Electra Havemeyer Webb's extraordinary collections. The mission that Electra put out for us, um, she explicitly stated that she wanted the museum to exist as an educational project, varied and alive. As a curator, my job is to sort of put objects out for perusal and uh, allow a place for people to come together to have conversations around these objects. So one of the things that we've been working on here um, is a little bit of a reappraisal of an artist named Ogden Minton Pleisner. Um, so Pleisner is a 20th century painter. He's an American artist, especially well known for his sporting pictures, um, both of sort of trout and salmon fishing, but also wild fowl. So later in Pleisner's life, um, he moves from Paulette to Manchester. And the studio that you see around me is actually the studio that was taken from his Manchester home and brought up to the museum after he passed away. One of the really wonderful things about this studio is that we, we actually have his artist's materials. Um, we have jars full of paintbrushes. We actually have some flat files that are filled with paper that he perhaps purchased to use eventually for a drawing or a painting. We have one painting in the collection that's actually just titled Salmon Fisherman. It's a painting of a young man wearing a fly fishing vest and a hat. And if you didn't know Pleisner, you wouldn't realize that this was him. He titled it Salmon Fisherman very explicitly. I think that is very telling about how he felt about the things that he enjoyed in his world. Um, something that's really wonderful about the painting, we think that he's actually pictured in a vest that was donated to us. And when our collections team cataloged the vest and put everything together, they opened one of the pockets and they found unfinished flies that he had been tying in there. Um, so we have those here in the studio too, which I think is just this really extraordinary thing.